Now that we've set up all of our studio sends, we've learned how to manipulate them, the next thing I thought I'd spend some time on, just a minute or so, is on the click. And you have lots of control over the click with the control room. So the first thing that we need to do is turn on the click. And that is on our transport panel right here. So we've turned it on. Now, because of the way this works, the, the control room works, if I start the project now, if I'm listening to the main mix on my control room channel, I'm not going to hear the click. Normally you would if you, were, if you had set your click to uh, assign it to the stereo out bus and, uh, in your VST connections window and you turned the click on, you would hear the click while you, were, while you were playing your project, but not with the control room because the control room has its own set of on-off switches for the click. And if I want to hear the click as I'm listening to the main mix on the control room channel, I have to turn this button on, the activate the metronome clip button. And now I can hear the click. But if you'll notice, I'm the only one hearing the click. The control room channel is the only one who's got the click activated. The guy in Studio One with the piano does not hear the click when, I, when I've got only this activated here. I can also set a level for the click. So as I go and play this uh, song, I can bring it down or up as I need it. And I can also pan it. So I can pan it to the right or to the left or back to center as I desire. And you have similar independent control over each of the four studio channels that you can set up. So I can have the click not running in my headphones. I can have the click running in the piano player's headphones or the drummer's headphones, for example, and not running in the vocalist's headphones. I can have it sent and at whatever level I want for each of those studio channels. And that's how you set up the click in the control room. In the next video, I'm going to discuss the talkback system, how to set it up, and what it can be useful for.